Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 21st of 2022. Well, it is titled Andromeda in Southern Skies. So what do we see here? Well, here peeking up over the mountains, we see the Andromeda galaxy, a very common sight for those of us who live north of the equator as Andromeda galaxy is far in the northern sky and very easily visible in the autumn. However, when you go south of the equator, it gets harder and harder to see because it is so far north. If you go far enough south, it will never rise above the horizon. And in fact, as taken here from New Zealand, this is about as high above the horizon as it gets. So it peaks up over the horizon and then sets down. And it's visible very briefly in their springtime. So that's when it's most visible around midnight. And that is during spring in the southern hemisphere, which of course is right now. Spring in the southern hemisphere starts on the starts in September and will run through December when it will become summer. Remember that because of the Earth's tilt, seasons are opposite between the northern and southern hemisphere. So when it is fall in the northern hemisphere, it'll be spring in the southern hemisphere. The seasons will be exactly opposite because one half of Earth is tilted toward the sun, while another half is tilted away. And that is what is causing our seasons. Now here we see Andromeda, which is a very prominent spiral galaxy, the most distant object that can be seen with the naked eye. So if you look out and know where to look, you can see a small fuzzy patch at the location here. However, with cameras and other photographic devices, we can actually see a better image of this spiral galaxy as we see here today. So this is much as our spiral galaxy, our Milky Way would look if you traveled to two and a half million light years away to look back at it. So from someone looking from the Andromeda galaxy might see something quite similar to this in their sky with that galaxy instead of being the Andromeda galaxy would of course be our Milky Way. Now the galaxy itself is a spiral galaxy and it's tilted kind of up a part way so you can't really see really distinct spiral arms as you would if we looked down on the face of it and you don't see the distinct dust lanes as easily as you would normally see them if it was edge on but you can see the distinct bulge at the center and then going from upper left to lower right you can see the spiral arms kind of stretching out there as a faint glow that glow is actually quite large and with really deep exposures you can see that it covers about three degrees in the sky about the size of six full moons now all of that is not visible unless of course you take a long exposure to bring up the fine detail but that is how big the Andromeda galaxy appears and it's actually going to be getting bigger the Andromeda galaxy and our Milky Way are getting closer and closer together with a collision upcoming in several billion years why so long well it takes a long time to travel the th two and a half million light years between the two galaxies so even as they move closer together they are still going to take a very long time before they eventually collide and probably merge into one much larger galaxy so that was our picture of the day for october 21st of 2022 it was titled andromeda in southern skies We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.